Hey guys, how's it going? It's AC Milan MTL here, and today I'm here to talk to you about match number 10 in the 2013-2014 Serie A season. The match between Milan against Lazio that was played at the San Siro today in Milan. And as usual, I'm going to be talking to you about uh, how the match pretty much went, player performances in my opinion, personal opinions, of course, and so forth. So let's get started right into this game. Uh, very important match for both teams, of course. Uh, three points is what both teams needed in this game. Because, um, of course, they need to climb back on top of the table. And in order to do so, uh, wins are mandatory. Therefore, big game, especially for Milan as well. Um, after losing to Parma on the weekend, they wanted to get back on the right note. But unfortunately, they were kept to a 1-1 tie against Lazio. And once again, a very disappointing match for Milan. A game in which uh, possession was controlled quite well. However, the chances never end up coming. This is the main problem with Milan. Uh, possession going well. Uh, keeping possession is fine. However, when it comes to converting chances or even creating chances, this is where they lack into. So... Um, I'm going to be talking to you about some particular players in which uh, captured this game in terms of their performance. Uh, let's start right off with De Chiyo, in which uh, made his return finally after so long. He was finally back on the pitch as a starting 11. Not a bad game from De Chiyo as he came back uh, from that long injury. And uh, he did play quite well. Uh, didn't let anyone pass him really on that wing in terms of uh, being him for uh, crosses and stuff like that. A lesson for Costa uh, was given by the Shio today because uh, of course as we know Costa really didn't play well against Parma and uh, the Shio today really showed him how you're supposed to play. Um, with this return, I'm expecting him to be starting a lot of more games now, since uh, obviously he is the preferred fullback in that position, and therefore expect to see him uh, more often in the upcoming games. Other people, uh, other players I won't be talking to you about is uh, Montolivo, the captain. Uh, Montolivo, you know, uh, his performances haven't been all that well. Um, Montolivo as a captain needs to take, in my opinion, more um, leadership in his role. Of course, uh, as a captain, uh, you want to um, manage the team quite well. Uh, you don't want to see any players really um, working bad in the team or in the game as a, as a whole. And um, really... The, uh, Montolivo needs to come back to the performances he was having last year. Last season, the second half of the season, where we did a major comeback. This is where Montolivo needs to return. Needs to understand that he's the captain of this team. He needs to bring in motivation. He needs to do better as a captain altogether. That is what my main message is for Montolivo. Next player I want to be talking to you about is Kaká. Kaká finally today got his goal. The first goal uh, from after returning to Milan was scored fr uh, from Kaká today. A beautiful goal with an assist from Balotelli. Beautiful goal where Marchetti couldn't ever reach. Right in the top corner. Uh, kind of seems like uh, some goals scored by Bista lately. But uh, well done by Kaká. For me, I think he's one of the only players that actually brings a spark to this team. Uh, a player that... Shows his determination game in, game out. Uh, always there to fight and get the three points. One of the only players at the moment that is fighting really hard. So uh, congrats to Kaká for his goal. And keep up the good work, Ricardo. And uh, finally, I want to be talking to you about Balotelli. Balotelli, it's been a few games, guys, that he hasn't been performing as we know he does. What I mean by this is that uh, many times... He loses the ball. He kind of goes for the individual play, which is what we don't want to see from Balotelli. We want to see him uh, involve the whole team. And uh, as, as I said, Balotelli needs to be the main figure of this team. And uh, he needs to start playing like he used to last season, in the second half, of course. 
He needs to uh, take leadership once again. He needs to uh, protect the ball. He needs to always search and find for the easiest option and not overdo things. This is the Balotelli that we need because we know that his shots are great, powerful, and always accurate. But there's a lot of other things involved in this game that needs to be changed. As I said, the passing, uh, holding off opponents, and so on. We need to see what he did last season with Milan. We need to see him back to that Balotelli as soon as possible. And th- these are the players that pretty much captured the, atten- the attention in this game for Milan. Um, as I said, guys, before, a 1-1 tie in this game, it's not a good result. Once again, we're dropping points. Two more points. And uh, with wins from Juve and Napoli, the gap keeps increasing by the week, guys. This was a must-win match once again. And a tie just won't do it for Milan. They need to start winning games. The gap is increasing week after week. And that Champions League spot seems to be further and further away as the weeks go by. So, uh, that is about it for the match review. Uh, quite disappointing result. But hopefully we'll get it a win this Saturday when we play against Fiorentina at the San Siro. Which promises to be a very exciting match. Also because we know the history between these two teams. Last season what happened. Uh, the matches between them. And also the, um, the final standing situation where we saw Milan going to the Champions League and Fiorentina being left out of the competition. So that is about it for the match review uh, for this match. Thanks for watching guys. As always, please like the video if you liked it. And also, uh, don't forget to comment. Give me your comments on uh, today's game. What did you think about it? Who you think played the best and so on. If you haven't yet, also please follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. Uh, especially on Facebook, guys, as I always post my news there. Um, and I'm trying to build a very big fan base there. We reached over a thousand likes on that page. So it's very important that you guys like it. And of course, to keep updated with the latest Milan news on a daily basis. And also, don't forget, guys, to uh, subscribe to me on YouTube for match reviews after every Milan game. And that's it. And even more with news and uh, occasionally videos concerning players. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been AC Milan MTL here signing off. I'll be seeing you guys on Saturday for the match review against Fiorentina. As usual, guys, don't forget it. Forza Milan.